So as we pick up our story, I'm talking about how cybercrime identity theft and the fraud on my life, as well as human abuse psychologically and emotionally of several people both known to me and unknown to me impacted my life. What I shared in the last ministry-oriented video or audio cast, which is basically a black screen to allow you to multitask, was that I stint a stint in jail. I was assigned apparently six months by a bitch mental health judge to stay in jail, but they released me after three months, after they ripped the shit out of my clothing. It was returned to me by a black officer who played me back a piece of material that said that I was different than I was, meaning it said that I think I had, it, that I had brown eyes and brown hair instead of blue eyes and blonde hair. When I told him there was an error, he said, do you want to go back in? I'm like, no. God said, absolutely not. You see, when you're Lord led by the Lord, you do a lot of things. But while I was in jail, I started to write these little manuals for the jail because I found their manuals so horrible as an adult male that I thought, no wonder you have all these outbreaks. No wonder you have all these problems with these men. No, matter, no wonder they're not changing their life over to the Lord or anything else to begin again. No wonder this is a piece of shit manual and you waste our time with these things. And openly, this is shit. But hey, leave it to Pence to write shit in a jail. My life is my life is absolutely what we're taught all throughout our life, but you have people who lie in our courtrooms. And I am fully supportive of the current administration and Vice President Harris's hands because I was the first person to say, make Mama Harris president. I was amongst the first person producing slides through my Twitter channel, which has now been abused by some little shit from a staple shop who participated with a local security company to push me off my own fucking channel. And openly I'm planning to sue that man into the ground, or maybe Mama Harris will do that for me because she is, after all, one of the two lawyers running our country. And isn't it great? It's not a matter of having a President Trump who could pay a lawyer to do something, right? But we have two legal minds who have the ability, the intelligence, and possibly the time on occasion to read our laws and follow them for the American citizenry. And isn't that why we hired them in the first place? The biggest fucking thing that a stupid American citizens and foreign idiots across the land don't realize is that their arrogance says, I could be president. Who the heck made them president? No, you couldn't. Joseph Biden was the most viable candidate to run for the democracy of the American continent. And when I wrote my letter to Marion Williamson, I said, please, talk to the team and speak to them about who really, truly, marvelously, absolutely wants to be the American president because it's a hell of a lot of responsibility, an incredible volume of accountability, and it's not a picnic every day. Just because you get to ride around in the beast and have a little sway doesn't mean that it's going to be a fun time for you. You'll be traveling the world. You'll be entertaining dignitaries. You'll be talking on behalf of the fucking American people. You better fucking have a clue. And with that, they started to partner and start to do things, and Lord Biden did the right thing in asking Mama Harris to be beside him because here's you've got two things. you got two lawyers who know the laws of America, two lawyers who can read the fucking treaties, and two lawyers who can turn around and tell you to shut the motherfucker up because your opinion doesn't matter based on the facts at hand in American government of what is and isn't okay in our land. And we've seen that Lord Biden has literally lost nothing, that he's had to occasionally change his mind because the law didn't allow something. And isn't that interesting? But the law allows many concepts of privacy. The law allows many areas of medical dignity and sanctity. The law allows many aspects of individuality and not the enslavement of you or me. I apologize, but we have a lot of noise being made by probably stupid companies that are abusing this situation here around you and around me. Many, many companies are selling things to companies and commercial properties that are not needed in any way. It's a waste of American money, almost much as the waste we are spending overseas on giving um, help to impoverished nations that have been impoverished the whole time. They've had the same motherfucking 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 years to get their shit together and they still haven't uh, survived the dictatorships there.